barely few hours after the chief of naval staff visited Governor of Enugu State with a promise to establish a naval operational base in the state. The chief of naval staff is packed to inspect the famous Ogrugu River port in Uzuwan and Kansu area of the state. Some communities in Southeast are believed to be landlocked without access to river, sea, ocean to facilitate import and export. But the famous Ogrugu River port in Enugu denies the claim as it was once used as a gateway that the British used to transport goods and services for local and international trade. As part of effort instituted by Governor Pitamba to reposition Enugu for growth, this intervention comes handy and will serve as a viable means of income to this state. The Chief of Naval Staff underscores the benefit of the naval base which will attract to the southeast and north central as well as reassures investors' confidence in the state. Particularly with respect to what is happening in the country now, all insecurity, I believe that our presence here is very important. By the time we are here, uh, the investing public, the general public, will have more confidence in using this waterway as a vital means of uh, transportation. Governor Peter Amba reaffirms his administration's resolve to harness the opportunities presented by the waterways and jetty. That we support them and partner with them to see to quick realization of the setting up of the naval base to police our waters and also for us to benefit from their inland policing activity of the Navy. Of course, as you know, from here to Kogi, the middle belt is less than an hour or two hours trip from the waters. So it is a situation where we want to work with the Navy and in no small measure support the federal government, contribute our quota and participate in ensuring the quick realization of this objective. It is hoped that the investment the Nigerian Navy plans to embark on will ease movement of goods and services and provide security. Bamedele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu.